it here. Well, welcome everyone. Uh, we've got about a minute before we transition over to Tucci singing the anthem. We actually have some flags distributed out here, but uh, I will be your play-by-play -play tonight. CJ Buckeye beside me was the play-by-play -play for last night, <laughs> Caden McCrory. But he might be having an equipment issue because he's facing the wall and he's not talking to anybody. It might be an equipment thing, so we'll Maybe. keep an eye on that. Oh, a nice play out front. Kent State forehand, backhand, and a save by Mackey. Nice long extension pass to Mickey. A chance. Kramer out in front. A nice little sauce and a big save by Beck. A nice little sauce pass from Kramer to hit Mickey. Right in front of the net. Oh, what a nice play by Kent State. Shot. Rings off the post. Number 27, Jonathan Gabriel with that play. There's a loose chance out in front. Oh, a nice play to Cam Smith and a glove save. Oh, it's loose. What a save by the defenseman. Oh, what a play by the Kent State defenseman. Number 17, Kyle Holmes. An active stick, what a play. Beck was down and out. Holmes able to recover, and Kent State comes the other way with a shot off the post. And they're not sure if that's in. What a play by Mackey. How but did what he a shot. If, if he saved that, that's miraculous, but I don't think he did. I Good goal. They're calling for a goal there. And to be honest, I don't know how you could say that it wasn't. Really tell. It yeah. was? Okay. I would imagine it was on sportsmanlike conduct. Carrying it forward, oh, nice little play there by Kent State. Shot, padded away by Mackey. Loose out in front, high slot yet again, and see you later, water bottle. Number 19 for Kent State, able to bury that one. That is Jack Kinsman. And again, high slot, high slot, high slot. Back behind the net, Walker picks it up. Looking for a pass out. Has Adamski in the high slot. Looking for something. The diamond defense for Kent State working well. Kramer walks in, and a shot short side below the glove goes in. Roman Kramer gets his first of the night, cuts the lead to one, and RMU has scored on the power play. Kovac gets dropped on the Clearview Ice Arena logo, and fans unhappy with that call as he gets dropped with nothing there. Oh, a whiff on the shot, carrying it forward. Connor Moran, he shoots and scores. Connor Moran on the rebound, picks it up off of a misplay by the defenseman for Kent State and buries it, and we have a tie game. Looking for a play out, RMU doing a good job clogging up the center of the ice. Not much there in terms of the cross crease, but down low in the low slot, and you can't give him that. Number 13 comes through, Hunter Hilbrecht, and he's gonna score that every single time. That was a low slot goal. I'll give it to RMU's defense. It went through about two people to get there, but at the same time, you got someone's got to watch that back post. As as much as I've liked Noah Nicholas's play tonight, it just hasn't. It, it's not Blake Loges. Exactly. It's not that six four guy. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness! Roman Kramer, are you kidding me? Is that Trevor Zegris? Roman Kramer put the puck on the heel of his stick, spun around the Kent State defenseman, undressed Beck, and tucks it in five holes. That might have been the most impressive goal I've ever seen in my entire life. Are you kidding me, Roman? He literally put Clip the that in chat, please. He put the stick under his blade, danced around the defender at the spin room, and put it five hole on Beck. His second in the game and 19th of the season, as you said, is, is that Trevor Zegris out there? I mean, that was, for lack of a better term, absolutely filthy. <laughs> Carrying it forward, RMU hits Cam Smith. Smith with a little bit of speed, tries to go back door to burn. It's loose, tucks it, unable to get it through, and a good save by Beck. Oh, that's a tough play there. Macriero cost us with a diving play, and that was just a clean breakaway by T by Tommy Kilway. I mean, I'm not too sure what Macriero Costas was doing, but he got burned and decided to dive and just give up on the play. You do not want to see that. I understand you're tired because we're running with five defensemen tonight, but you can't do that. There has been plenty of conversations back and forth between the players. Kent State's gotten away with quite a bit. RMU's gotten away with quite a bit. But I'll tell you what, the problem isn't necessarily the calls. The problem is the consistency. And we said that in the second intermission. The consistency hasn't been there. Empty net for RMU, four on four time, but it's five on four from the empty net. 
There's a chance here. Palumbo drops it out in front. Backhand pass. Almost tucked in. Played along the wall, under 10 seconds to go, eight seconds, out to the point, shot. Hodgson in and it gets blocked. Four seconds to go, looking for a pass out to the middle. It's still loose there, shot goes in just wide. That's the end of the game. Kent State wins it, four to three. Beck, a fantastic performance for Kent State.